Hey guys, here's a part two um, to the video of how to make your substance textures look really good in Unity. Um, so if you hadn't watched the first video yet, go ahead and watch that because this will not work unless you know the first video. Um, so pretty much this is going to be taking all the cloth details I made here, like on the sweater, the jacket, all these fabric details, and it's going to be able to push them into your base color. So if I switch to base color, you can see all that fabric detail is gone. But with this texture, I'm going to show you guys how to make. As you can see, all that cloth detail is now popped back into my base color now. So if I'm in a world where like the lighting isn't the best and it's not really showing off my normals or anything that well, at least I have some detail from all the fabric stuff that I did into the base color. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to set this up. It's very, very simple. So um, just go ahead and get your textures done first. Go ahead and get everything done. And then once you do that, and you're ready to pretty much push this detail onto your textures, you're gonna wanna export your textures like you normally would, but only export your normal map for now. So I'm just gonna go back real quick and show you how to do that. So if you actually click on whatever mesh your named mesh is or whatever, just go ahead and open that up. Turn off everything besides your normal map and just press export. So you can just export your normal map. And then you're also going to need to find your world space normals from your bake. Um, so go ahead and the way, the easiest way to find that is if you go to your texture set settings here, just go to the um, world space normal and you'll see and the name down here, you're gonna to wanna to search that into your asset library. Just go ahead and search that, right click on it once you find it and you can export that as a resource. And then once you do that, we're gonna open up a program like Photoshop, GIMP, Paint.net. And we're gonna be taking those two textures and putting them in there. So we go ahead and set this back up to normal to show you guys how to do this. Um, so I'm using Photoshop for, for the example here. So here's the world space normal and the normal map that I exported from Substance Painter. So all you're gonna have to do is, you're just gonna have to pretty much make sure that the normal map is on top of the world space. Open up the layer tab for it, the layer style. And you're gonna switch it from a normal to an overlay. And then once you do that, you're pretty much done. You can go ahead and export this as a texture and then import it back into Substance Painter as a texture as well. And then once you do that, all you gotta do is just take your new texture and replace the original world space normal. And once you go into base color, as you can see, it is pretty much done. It already did all the, the work for you. But that's really about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy this little trick that I found out and uh, have a good one. Hey guys, a little side note for the end of this video. Um, if you want to join my Discord, um, you go ahead and check that out. I have pretty much all my work in progress stuff that I'm working on currently. So if you're interested in what I'm doing, it's the best place to go to for that. And also if you have any um, tutorial requests as well, or any um, anything you want to see how I do or anything like that for a video, go ahead and just put it in this little chat here and I'll definitely take into consideration if there's... Also, if you guys want to support me in any way, um, the best way to do that is just going to my shop, buy some avatars or some assets. But other than that, I'll catch you on the next one.